Hi y'all, it's Jody. I'm back with part two. Apparently my first video was a little long and it cut off. So in the previous video I just showed you all the um, bottle cap charms that I was inspired to make by all you crafty ladies on YouTube. So thank you very much for the inspiration. And I have two more I added um, that I didn't get to show. This one is in blue, the flat bottle cap with a rose image. Um, it was originally a white metal piece that I changed to blue with the alcohol ink and it has three little dangles on it. So that is added to the collection. And then this last one is also in blue. Uh, it's the raised bottle cap with a cross that says Happy Easter and then it also has the three little dangles to match. So those were my bottle caps, uh, the little charms, and I just love the way they turned out. So I have those ready to go in some Easter treats that I'm sending out to some friends. So I wanted to share them with you before I packaged them up. I'm going to just slide these out of the way real quick. And then the other thing that I was working on was an altered mason jar. And I got a few of these mason jars when they were on sale at Michael's. And... Um, I painted it with uh, lavender acrylic paint and went over it with a pearl paint fin to finish it off to give it that um, that pearl look. Um, I put some seam binding around the top with some lav uh, lavender ribbon and a lavender paper flower. I did the uh, cameo in a purple frame for the centerpiece, the focal point on the front, after I wrapped the lace all the way around. On um, the back, I used a uh, crocheted white doily with a paper rose in the middle. And on the, on the bottom, I added some pearls just uh, on the front and on the back with a little bit of uh, the purple on the side. Uh, this is actually going to a friend of mine um, as a, uh, with a sympathy card after her father recently passed away and purple is her favorite color. So I added the flowers uh, from the Ashland collection at Michael's in the uh, purple tones to go in it and that is part of her uh, sympathy uh, card and, and gift so she knows that I was thinking of her. Uh, after I finished that up I started on some stick pins and these are some six inch stick pins that I got from eBay um, they uh, this one came with a flat top and I added a clear bead, a pearl, a rondelle, light, very blush light pink paper rose, another rondelle, there's uh, pearls, bead caps. This is a beautiful square glass bead that has um, a uh, painted image of pink flowers with green leaves. It's It's gorgeous and it's not for some reason picking up on the camera but it's really pretty and then I finished it off with a bead cap and a large pearl. I, next I did a white one and used a silver bead for the top with uh, pearls, bead caps, this beautiful Jesse James bead. I just love these beads. Uh, a few more pearls, rondelles, bead caps. This one I did add a charm to with a little clear uh, bead in it and I really like the way this one turned out. This one came out really really nice. Uh, then I last of the large stick pins I did was with uh, blue, some blue tones. This one has the tulip flower with a clear bead inside and these beautiful sparkly <laughs> blue beads with silver in the middle uh, separated each section with a clear glass bead. So I really like these large ones. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet but I really like them. So after those three inspired me to create some more stick pins, I went a little stick pin crazy. So this was <laughs> what I've been working on since I've been back. So I uh, was on a scrapbooking cruise in the Caribbean last week, as some of you know, and just got my mojo flowing. So I got back and got to creating. So this is a row of pinks, and there's all different ones. There's... Um, some that have silk flowers with pearl centers and beads, some that have acrylic flowers with centers and beads, 
some that have paper flowers, excuse my hand, with pearls and beads. I really like the way these paper ones came out. There's some plain ones that just have <laughs> the beads and different shades of pink and different uh, variant tones. There's more with silk flowers. This one also is silk. There's, uh, I really like this one. This bead is very, very unusual. I'm not sure where it came from. It was in my stash and I was saving it for something. And when I put it together, I know what I was saving it for, but I really like this one. Um, there's just some that have, you know, different shades of pink, different, uh, types of beads. This little cross one came out nice. Um, some of them have clear bead tops. Some of them have pink. These are small two inch pins and they, uh, lent themselves very well to some of the just, uh, more simple beads that came out really nice. For some reason they're not picking up on the, on the iPhone. So I'm going to kind of go through these kind of fast. Uh, purple tones, some with the silk flowers and some with paper and acrylic. More with the silk flowers and the pearls. Then we went to paper flowers. I really like the way this one came out. It's really pretty. And we went to blue and yellow tones next. All the blue ones are two inch and then the yellows are four. The yellows came out very nice. And I love the one with the acrylic butterfly. We did some mint green. Uh, these with paper flowers and the different beads. This one is a uh, punch. I used two different paper punches with a pearl center and then added some blue-green glass beads. That one came out very nice. We did silver. Kind of reminds me of the New Year's Eve drop ball from Times Square. And then we did black. Now this was a large black paper rose that I added a bead to and the pearl, it put it on the pearl center. And then we did red. So we just, we just went crazy. I don't want this video to be too, too long, but I just wanted to share a few things that I was working on. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.